I really find the time to film a favorites video. I can't really believe it myself. I didn't think it would happen this month and it also didn't happen last month. So I'm really, really sorry about that. But today is August 31st and I actually spontaneously decided to take some time off this afternoon because Maybe you know, maybe you don't know, um, but if you follow me on social media, you know I am pregnant. I'm in my last trimester and I'm actually not allowed to do overtime um, or, you know, extra hours. Sometimes I do, but then I have to compensate and I'm really tired these days because I'm sleeping so bad. So I decided to spontaneously take this afternoon off. Plus, um, something was supposed to be delivered this afternoon. Um, so let's see how that goes. But I thought before I go and lie down and take my makeup off, etc., I will take the chance to film because even though I look a little bit tired and greasy and stuff, because I have been at work half a day already, um, I am still somewhat put together. So I thought, hey, let's film. So here we are for officially August favorites, but it's also kind of um, July favorites. I really only have a couple of products. The main reason being, it's been a very, very hot two months. Um, July and August are summer months and it has been very, very warm down here. Very humid, very warm overall. We had some cooler days in between, but overall we, we really had an amazing summer, I personally think. So um, the products I'm showing you are products really related to summer and I kept it very basic in terms of makeup. The second reason is I'm actually hopefully finding the time right after this video to film a little, well, maybe not so little, Sephora haul video because I never got around to refilm my American Sephora haul. The footage I had was not the way I liked it. It was really out of focus. So uh, I never edit and edited and uploaded the video and I never got around to refilming it. And now I got some new products from mainly Sephora as well. So I will pick my absolute favorites and standout products and products I haven't shown you previously and film a Sephora haul video. So I hope you like that and we'll watch that as well. But let's start with the actual products I've been using over the last two months. And I mentioned it, it's summer, it was really, really warm. And product number one is a heat related product. Um, there's no doubt about it. And it's this little one here. It's the Balea water spray. It literally says just water spray for face and the body. This comes in an aerosol can. You shake it, you spray it, and it's just so nice and cold and refreshing. It's even better if you put it in the fridge because then it's even colder. This is actually a backup. I have them all over the place. I have one in the office, I have one in my handbag, I have several flying around here in the apartment um, because this has been really saving my butt. Because of the aerosol spray or the aerosol nozzle, it's a very fine mist. So you can spray it, on, spray it on top of makeup just to freshen up in between without having to worry that it messes up your makeup or anything. Um, and I've been really, really loving it for my feet as well because like I said, I'm pregnant. I have issues with water in my feet, especially now during the warmer months. So um, this has been um, an absolute lifesaver of mine. And it's from DM, by the way, it's um, their store brand, Belea. Um, so it's really, really affordable. This can, and it's quite a big one, was only around $1 something, a little under $2. You can find them also from Avene and from La Roche-Posay. They're equally good, definitely not better, but equally good, but definitely more expensive. So I opted for the cheap and affordable option. Product number two is a total summer product as well. And it's something I've shown you last year as well, because it came out last year in the spring and I bought it right away when it came out because it sounded so interesting and I really like the brand. Um, and it is the Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It Hairstyler. This is a styling cream, which you basically put into your wet hair or damp hair. And then it is supposed to, 
Uh, enhanced texture and body with a soft product free feel for your perfect air dried style. So basically this, um, well it's supposed to give body and texture. I don't really think it does that. Um, I definitely don't feel my that my hair feels thicker afterwards. But what it does, usually when I let my hair air dry, it looks all over the place. With this stuff, I put it in, I let my hair dry, I brush it through one more time when I feel it's almost dry, and it looks like I got a blowout. It looks amazing. Um, it has a bit of grip, I guess you can say, and it just falls very nicely and feels very nicely. So, loving this. The only thing I have to say, a lot of YouTubers who show this product or have been showing the product as of late, talk about how this makes their hair dry faster. I have to agree, uh, disagree, not agree. I, I don't think so. Um, and it also doesn't claim that it does it. Um, so with the Moroccan hair oil, for example, I feel it's drying faster. This doesn't make your hair dry faster specifically. It just make your, makes your hair look and feel better. So that is basically something um, what I'm really, really loving. In terms of face products, something I've been very, really, really liking as of late are bronzers and my favorite one was from Hourglass in the palette with the three different colors, the one which is a bit shimmery. However, I actually ran out of it. Um, the palette is done and over with. I will repurchase it because I really, really like it. I, I loved all three colors. Um, but I had to use some other kind of bronzer which I have flying around and a go-to bronzer of mine which I really like and which never fails me is um, this one here from Body Shop and it's their Honey Bronzer in the color Light Matte. So this is a matte bronzer. During the summer I do prefer a bit of shimmer, but that's what you also can use highlight for. So I went back to this. You can see that, maybe not, but I, yeah, you can see. There is, just checking in the viewfinder, but um, yeah, you can definitely see that I made a dent, serious dent in this. This is um, a bronzer you can really nicely use to warm up your face, but also to contour because it's matte. Um, I really like it. It suits my pale um, skin and I've been gravitating towards this a lot um, and I really, really like it. Talking about highlights and shimmer powders and all that kind of jazz, um, I've got this one here which is one of the ambient strobe lighting powders and this is the color iridescent. Um, I got it because I A like highlights, I B like hourglass products and I C really like the other color which is I think incandescent light uh, which is the middle color in the in the free palette. So I had to get this as well. This is a bit more on um, the pinkisher side. Incandescent is a bit more on the whiter side. Um, for a highlight, this is not my favorite kind of product because it it's almost too subtle. I don't need this overly bright mirrored effect, but I would like a little bit more than what this is doing. However, what I've been liking this for is for my under eye area to brighten that. Um, I do lo love the uh, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, but this is even more brightening without being overly uh, shimmery because the Laura Mercier powder is very shimmery and glittery. Glittery is the right word, I guess. Glittery. Well, this one gives this really nice bright shimmer and looks very, very, very nice. Like this inner teardrop white, just not as much. And you can just, you know, nicely blend it out under the eyes. I also like that it's not a loose powder, but um, a pressed one, so for traveling. Um, this has been great and it does always um, double up as a highlight. You just have to really, really build it up. But if you want to travel light and want to have to something, you want to have something to um, brighten up your under eyes to set your concealer as well as to overall highlight a little bit, 
um, this is definitely something I can recommend. Um, staying with the cheek products, I've been using a lot of different blushes over the last couple of months because I actually got a lot of blush palettes. Um, I got three blush palettes over the last three months and some single blushes which I am actually going to show you in my haul video. But the one blush I've been gravitating to because it, it's actually in one of the palettes I got um, and I have it as a separate blush as well is the Benefit Rocketeur blush which I really like and I also made a serious dent in it as well. Let's take the brush out real quick. Um, this is a lovely rose wood color. Sometimes depending on what other kind of eye makeup you're wearing, it's a bit more on the pink side. Sometimes it's a bit more on the red side. It does have a little bit of shimmer to it, but definitely no glitter. I know a lot of people um, complain about that it has shimmer in it and that it makes your pores more obvious and stuff. This doesn't, or that it has glitter in it. Um, this doesn't have glitter in it, it's just a little bit of shimmer highlight, so you would not necessarily need an extra highlight. This kind of doubles up with a one-stop shop uh, product and uh, it smells amazing and it's one of my favorite everyday blushes to use because it just goes with everything I um, really, really like. Last but not least, is also an oldie but a goodie. Um, I had a phase where I was really into my Sweet Peach palette. I still love um, that palette. I just didn't want to show it to you again because I think I showed that to you in some other favorites video. Might have been June favorites. Not quite sure anymore. But so still loving the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Um, and I've been quite a lot into shimmer um, eyeshadows. I have the Naked Smoky, I have um, the various, the, the Tartlet in Bloom palette with the shimmer colors, the, the Too Faced chocolate bar palettes with the shimmer in it, but as of late, and that is specifically because, what's her name? Tiffany, Makeup at Tiffany D, she wears those very, very simple, but very amazing eye looks, which I love. I just really like it. Her um, eyelids look so, I don't want to say stunning, but um, I just really like this very simple, slightly lightened up um, eyeshadow look. So a palette I've been gravitating to again is my Naked Basics palette because it just has everything I need. Um, I actually broke the faint color which I wasn't using too often and it's a pretty exchangeable color but I specifically love those three colors. Specifically actually uh, WOS and um, Naked 2. Um, I'm not wearing them today because this morning I was so tired and everything, but those two colors, you know, all over the lid, a little bit in the crease, do the trick to make you look more put together. Um, I do have actually quite dark eyelids, so by using a lighter eyeshadow and then a little bit of a darker color in the crease um, makes a lot of effort on me. No, not a lot of effort. A lot of has a lot of effect on me. Gosh, people, I'm so tired. But um, yeah, I just really like it. It looks more put together. You look more refreshed, more awake. And um, the other thing why I've been liking this um, for some reason now that it's so warm, um, my mascara sometimes smears a little bit. I'm not using waterproof mascara. I'm using the I'm using the Roller Lash by Benefit, and I sometimes have like those light shadows here. Um, no matter if I use eyeshadow or not, um, specifically when I wear actually shimmery eyeshadow. I'm not sure what's up with that. So shimmery eyeshadow or no eyeshadow, I do get like a darker area here sometimes, which I have to wipe away. But when I use just you know an, a nice 
um, simple matte eyeshadow, this doesn't happen. So that's actually quite convenient as well during the summer months and that's what I want. Um, those were my favorites. I really don't have a lot. Um, besides obviously the products I'm going to show you in my haul video. I have been using them on and off, but not completely. Even though now it's been, what, three months that we're back from vacation? But I think the reason why I never fully dug into them was because I wanted to show them to you first in a haul video. So that is what I'm going to film. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to film now or if I take a nap first. I have to see, but um, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and we'll watch the next one as well. And uh, yeah, I hope I will see you around and um, yeah, see you later. Bye.